Hello and welcome to this video. I'll be showing you how to create links for the objects you have on your web page. On my Django app at the moment, I've got images and got text. I want to be able to make the images clickable so that when you click on it, it takes you to another page and that page will display the image and also display the text. So it's a kind of like a detailed page of that individual image. So that's the goal. The first thing I need to do is try and create a new path function inside my URL patterns in my Django app. My Django app is called courses. So if I expand that, there is a file called urls.py. So you can see I've got some path there already. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add another path. So I'm just going to press enter and going to copy this and just modify the parts that I want changing. So to begin, every path function must have a route. That means where you want to go to search for particular information. Um, so here, the first parameter is a route. For that, I'm going to put int. I'll explain this in a minute. And I'll type in course underscore ID and close bracket. So what this is saying, if someone goes to my web page, so if someone comes here, this address and does a slash one or whatever, that's what I mean. Okay. So if someone, this image is being clicked on, it will give the ID of that image. So whatever ID it had in the database, so every object in the database will have a primary key. So whatever that primary key is, when you click on this, it will bring up that route. That's what I'm referring to. So that information, the numerical information that's captured will be stored in this variable called course underscore ID. And once you've entered that URL, we need a view that will be called to render for this URL. And the view function, I'm going to create a view called details. I've not created it yet, but we'll create it shortly. So that's going to be the name of my view. And I'm going to call then give the value of this name parameter. I'm going to give it the same name as my view. Okay. So now that I've set up the URL path, I need to create the view that I specified inside that path. So I'm going to open up my views.py file, which is this file here, and just create a new view function. So I'm just going to tab down, make sure your indentation is correct. So I'll create a new view function, type in DEF to create the function. I'm going to call it detail because that's what I specified in my URL path. And inside the parentheses, the first argument is always the request that is made. And the second argument is going to be the course ID because I specified a variable called course ID when I set up the URL pattern. So I need to pass this. So anytime this view is called, this variable called course ID, course, course underscore ID will be forwarded to this particular view. All right. So add the colon and press enter. For now, I just want to return. I'm just going to do a test, return, render. And inside that render function, 
we're going to pass in the original request as the first argument and then the second argument is going to be the view that I want to use for this function when the function is called. So for now I just want to test it by using the view called index. Okay, and I've got a view called index which I'm using for this index function. I'm just going to use that here just for testing purposes to test if what I'm trying to do is going to work and then I can implement the view properly. The next thing I want to do is do some basic testing. I want to make sure that if I go to my URL and do a slash one or enter any integer, I want to make sure that it does print that out. So I don't want it to print it on the page. I want it to print it out in the console. So to do that, I'm going to just tab down and do a print statement. So I do print and in the parentheses, I'm going to pass in the course ID. Okay. And then here on line 15 in my render, make sure you have your, there are quotes surrounding this. That should be the opening quote and the closing quote should be the, at the end of that. So make sure you are enclosed in quotes. So once you've done that, just click and save and let's do some basic testing. So this is the page here. So if I change the route, if I do a slash one and just press enter, the reason is still giving me this because I am using the index view at the moment just for testing purposes. So if I look in my console now, you can see here is printed out the number one. If I do a slash two, and go back in my console, you can see it's printed out too. So that means the URL path is at least working. I can now remove the sprint function here because I've tested and it works. So what I want to do now is implement this method properly, this detail method. So what I, first thing I want to do is import right at the top. So after this render here, I'm going to do a comma and I want to import a class called get underscore object underscore or underscore 404. Now what this um, class method would do basically is that it will call the get function on a given model. So it will query, query the database. If a certain object does not exist in the model, it will return a 404 error. That's basically what that's doing. So inside my function, I'm going to implement that inside this view called detail. First thing I want to do is create a variable inside the function. So I'll create a variable called course underscore detail. So you can call yours any name you like. I'm going to set that to equals to this function that I just imported, which is get object underscore 404. And inside the parentheses for this method, you have to pass in the model that you're trying to get data from. And my model is called course. It has to be in uppercase. Okay. So that's the name of my model, which is course. And then it also takes in another parameter, which is a primary key because every record in the database will have a primary key. So PK stands for primary key and you give it a value and the value of that primary key is going to be the individual course underscore ID. That's what this method here is going to query the database the, using the get method. And if it doesn't find the particular primary key for the object we want from the database, it will return a 404 error 
to say that that object does not exist. And in my render here, I'm just going to adjust this. I'm going to change the view. So I'm going to create a file, HTML file later called detail.html. So when this function is called, this view function is called, it will render this detail.html template. So inside that, I want to just do a comma and add a dictionary. So you do curly brace. And for the dictionary, the key is going to be a string. So because the information I want to retrieve is about the course, I'm going to specify the name of the course. So inside the dictionary between the quotes, I'll say course. And then that would be the key for the dictionary. And then I'll add the colon. And the actual information I'm trying to get back from the database is the individual course detail. So I'll do course underscore detail. So this will represent the data I'm trying to retrieve from the database. That's what this um, dictionary is doing. So that's it. When you're done, just click to save the file. So now that we've created the view function, the URL has been set up. In the next video, I will create a HTML file called detail.html that will be rendered when the relevant route is called. Okay, so we'll do that in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.